finally we find out how Marie Joy is it Marie Joy or Marie Joie? I feel like I've been saying it wrong this entire time. How it came to be. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and today we continue our Dress Rosa adventure. But yeah, last time finding out how Marie Joie came to be, the 20 or 19 kings and queens from all across the lands forming basically the world government, the Neftari or Vivi's family being the only ones to opt out, and that's sort of the, the origin of Celestial Dragons too. And how Doflamingo's family, the Don Quixote family, being the ones to sort of come from there and then overrun or overturn the current kings and queens here in Dressrosa. So today, let's continue the adventure. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub, stay a while, and let's get started. Please stay down, man. Please stay down, Jola. My heart can't handle anymore. With this! Damn, Nami! You did good, Momonosuke. <laughs> Dang, Brooke. Dude, I kind of wish they were brutal sometimes and just dumped her in the ocean. Doesn't take negotiation seriously. She is going to tell them. Oh my gosh! I mean, I guess it doesn't really make a difference now. That's kind of goofy of her to do that, though. Yeah, hit her, Momonosuke. Hit her! Oh, Violet unearthed all the plans. Ooh, you say they're the clueless ones. You're not as in on the money, Jola, as you think. Dude, they've used this shot. That, that first one. Actually, these three. So many times. It's insane. Black D, last block, baby. Oh, we're going to get our standout fighters now. Oh, he's got, he's got uh, awards and everything. Medals of Honor. That was kind of a slick cut. Suleiman the Beheader. Oh my gosh. Is he going to do any beheading? A whip! Indiana Jones! Who is this? Yellowbeard? Yanta Maria Grand Fleet. Oh, shoot. Sir Mounter. Oh, Orlumbus. They have talked about him. Orlumbus. I swear they just name dropped Suleiman. Rolling Logan. Oh my god, that's a big boy. And then just, I, I, I want to call him Richie. It reminds me of Richie. It's a straight up lion. Agio. It looks a lot like Richie. This guy just breathes fire? No wonder he wants the flare flare fruit, man. An arsonist! He's perfect for it! A sorcerer mummy. His name, his guy's name is actually just mummy. What? Oh, oh my. Kind of like that. A big mommy? Agilia. Oh my gosh. Dude, there's a lot of standout fighters here. Why are they holding him back? Is he like too excited? One that stands out the most of our... Uh, let me guess. Cavendish? Yep. Hey, what about Rebecca, man? She makes a name for herself. I mean, she already has. She 1v5 already. Nope. Oh. Another standout? This guy kind of has Cavendish vibes. Gardoa, the beautiful bounty hunter. They they sound kind of similar too. Oh, they have the same effect too. This is Cavendish is like a natural enemy. That's a sick spear, like snake. A word for Cavendish just because he stuck up for uh, Rebecca. It's only right that these two fight, man. Cavendish very clearly has the upper upper hand. He's like barely breaking a sweat. He's smelling a rose in the middle of their fight. The disrespect. Oh no, you're done, pal. You're done. At least he's, he even said he doesn't have a devil fruit. He's just a really talented swordsman. He's gonna kill this man. Nope. You already lost. Dang, bro. Kevin is kind of clean with it. All the girls want him. All the guys want to be him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Luffy is not uh, not paying attention, bro. Actually, he might. Yeah, he's still watching on the TV. <laughs> I don't know why Luffy doesn't just go down and like watch. The, uh, why watch on the TV? I don't know, man. I wouldn't mess with Rebecca after I saw that. After I saw her take down five without even swinging her blade. But I feel like it's going to have a moment where she has to fight. And when we see her actually fight, it's going to show like her real skills. Although she was ready to kill Luffy, bro. She was about to. 
Aw, Luffy's so invested in her winning too. It's kind of sweet. Dude, there's no way she's getting jumped again. These guys are shameless. I mean, all the cannon fodder is going to get knocked out. I don't think they would do Rebecca dirty and like knock her out from just some randoms. It would just not be right. Oh, back to green bit. Do we get to learn more about Marie Joie? Oh no, his hat. Don't leave it. And the blade? Oh, they're still just holding him down. The celestial dragon. What? Oh, so he's not anymore. But he line hops like it's nothing. <laughs> I thought they've known each other for a while. I'm honestly surprised Law didn't already know. Croc? Dude, it, <laughs> there's my goat! It feels like Innie's lobby was like a, a lifetime ago, man. Oh, wait, he let him up. Oh. Clap of thunder from the direction of the sea? What? Oh, wait, Sunny from, from Nami. I always thought I could tell the weather. Is this like foreshadowing some ability? Yeah, Law knows. Oh my gosh. Give it back already. Yeah, why hasn't he actually? Oh, actually, though, I, I think it is, though. I think Law is bluffing. Who else could it be? Not one of the straw hats. Oh, no, that no, that's. Yep, that's that's one way to prove it. I did not even think about that. Glad, glad no flamingo is smart. What? Oh, did it not? He was, uh, He's just dramatic. Oh, so it's not his heart. What's oh, a Navy officer's heart? <gasps> I bet it's on Sunny. Ooh, la! You tricky bastard! How is he rooming right now? Ooh. Oh! Let's go! Oh, he's got him! Bro, Law is dirty with it! Damn! Damn! <laughs> I love Caesar just as a hostage constantly. Joka! Oh man, that was slick. <laughs> he really likes saying squirt. Are they near? Oh, they are. They're really close. Got all the way to Green Pit. Oh, and the, the thunder was like for Nami to alert Law, I guess, so they're there. Bro, he's gonna come booking it out with Doflamingo on his tail. It's not like they can get away that fast, though. Doflamingo just run after them through the air. Well, you guys have another hostage. <laughs> why does she just look like that? Like, why does her mouth just stay open? Okay, at least Brooke knows. He's coming. Bruh. Guys, just roll her off, please. I mean, maybe the fish, like, being near the ship will be good for whatever Doflamingo comes flying out, inevitably. Oh, they're, like, surrounded. Oh, my God. Moment Nosuke, stop! My gosh! Oh, he's got... Wait, the shore. He's just tossing stuff. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I really got to see the manga panels for this chase. I want to know, like, how they portrayed it. Mmm. Get Caesar on board the ship. Oh. Wouldn't Doflamingo go after Caesar and not Law? I feel like he'd prioritize Caesar. Dude, there's no one I'd rather be not chased by than Doflamingo. Like, dude, terrifying. Oh, he heard them. <gasps> oh, shoot. Eh? Oh, no. Okay, now we see if he decides. Wait. They, yeah, he wasn't supposed to hear him yet. Dude, his grin! It's like the Grinch! Oh no, he's just gonna book it. Oh, no! Oh sh! Oh my gosh. Bro, all of them noticed Doflamingo's presence and dip! His hockey man! Dude, dude! <laughs> the last words you ever want to hear. He turned into a dragon just out of sheer panic. He's just gonna obliterate them. <gasps> Dog! Law has the. Oh my gosh, he can't even get over there. <gasps> no, Sonny! Who is supposed to help? Sanji! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Sanji versus Doflamingo. Damn, perfect timing. Oh no, oh no. There's no way that Sanji can beat him though. He recognized, okay, the respect. I don't know though, man. Doflamingo's a different breed, dude. 655. His laugh. Dude, this is gonna be Sanji's biggest test, man. Ah, so you've heard of him. Nice. Oh my gosh. Hachi's hash. Dude, an air battle is crazy. Oh no, man. Pentachromatic strings. He really does just like draw strings through the air. Oh my gosh. He, there's no way Sanji just loses right away, right? Please, man. I mean, he's gotta make time somehow. Dude, he's so intimidating, man. Oh, get back in there, Sanji. Step to him, baby. Step to him. Come on. Yes. He actually has to like guard himself with his coat. Wow, damn. He's recognizing the strength. Our boys come so far. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He's waiting for an opening. Oh, can he control him? I don't get this power, man. It's like, is he like pulling on a string? I think he, he's literally like a puppet master. Yeah, can you explain his powers, please? Do we finally get an explanation after all this time? Bug caught in a spider. What is he supposed to do? Someone do something! Oh. What is that? What? He has like a fire power? Overheat? Oh, shit. Damn, this is crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, what? Did he toss him all the way back to dress Rosa? He swapped him that far? No, wait, he swapped his power, like his whip. Damn. No, no, he did. He tossed Doflamingo. Oh my gosh. Law is just built like that. Shambles. God damn. And we're back at square one. Ah, Jola. <laughs> Yeah, he's all the way back in Dressrosa. Damn, you got outplayed, Dolphy. You got outplayed, man. Oh, but he's, he's already right there. It is not very far. Guys, he's very close already. Well, now what? Caesar's face. <laughs> I want to see Law and Sanji take him on. I have not found Kanjiro yet. <laughs> Your father's dead. <laughs> Sorry, that's dark. He's completely fine, I don't want to say. Don't worry, pal. Don't worry. That's the real heart. Oh, wait. He might give up Caesar to like, to get Doflamingo to leave him alone. But at this point, would he leave him alone? What? He had Caesar's heart inside of him? So if they had killed Law, they would have killed Caesar. Oh my gosh. Take him and head for Zhao. Is it Zhao Zhou? Oh, shoot. He wants them to just dip? How are they supposed to escape Doflamingo? Yeah, they wouldn't leave without Luffy and all them and Frankie and and yeah, dude. Did they have to? Oh, what? What is happening? <gasps> Fujitora! Is it a meteor? It, is it? It would just crush Sunny at this point. I think it is him. What? Uh, that's how he got. Wait, does he just like fly the ship like that with his ability? Oh my gosh, bro! This is just Disasterville, dog. Dog! Oh my gosh. Bro, Law's being pushed. But he recognized that Doflamingo can't split his attention between Dressrosa and Zhao. Like, he has to pick one or the other to go, like, either protect Dressrosa and everything that's happening or go get Caesar. Those are two meteors. Two. Bro, Chopper's max panic. Find your whistle, buddy. It just couldn't get worse. Poor Law, man. We spiral hats are gonna leave now. <laughs> okay. Getting too hung up on Doflamingo. Well, I mean, I feel like Doflamingo is just like an obstacle, though. No? Was he saying like he likes like like screwing with him too much? Oh, he already made a room. Damn. He's attacked. He doesn't even care. 
Oops, I had thought about that. <laughs> you can't not like him, man. He has such an admiral's energy. Oh, wait, what? The tide of the war will turn. Oh, shoot. How did he just sense that? Like, what does he sense? The Totata kingdom? Like, starting to, to revolt? Like, uh, hello? Is he since, like, the Colosseum? What war? The tide of what war? Oh, they're spinning around. So they're gonna go to Zhao. Law, dude, that is so cool. It's like, it literally looks like a fire whip. I love Doflamingo, man. Excess whip string. Oh my gosh. Can he just pull them with that? It's literally like magma. What is his power, man? Can we get like a clear cut explanation? Oh, string, string fruit. He attaches them to clouds. What? Oh, finally, finally, we understand. So there's no clouds, he can't do anything. Oh, so it's not just strings. It's strings attached to clouds. Oh. Damn! You're a hostage, Yola! Shut the hell up! Dang, bro! Dang! He actually cares enough about her to not make a move. I'm kind of surprised, actually. And they're just gone! <gasps> That's it! That's it! Now he has to decide between them and Dressrosa. Dude, dude, and the rest of Straw Hats have no idea! Is that Bart? Is he talking to Bart? Come on, Bart. He's crying! <laughs> this is idol. One of his idols talking to him. <laughs> I can't, man. Oh, my gosh. He's like, what is he doing? <laughs> Bart is just my favorite, bro. Him and the toy soldier just stand out. Dude, he'll do anything for you, Zora, if you ask. So he needs my help. <laughs> <laughs> Just to meet you. Imagine if all the straw hats were like right here and he met all of them. <laughs> he was awesome. We're going to see more of the cannon fodder go down because it's going to be Rebecca, Cavendish, Suleiman. Uh, is it Orlumbus? Mm, she's not. And then there was one more. Oh, two more. The, like, mage and then someone else rolling something. That's, like, all the finalists right there. Oh, and then the big mommy. They're all lined up already. Was Cavendish actually going to start sticking up for her? They fight together? She goes to the edge to trick him and get him to fall off. No, she has, like, a, a method to her madness. Goes to the edge to trick him. Bro, guys, professional haters right here, man. Like, actually. 1v3 instantly, man. She's built different. Did we not see this coming, though? She already did it to five other guys. Oh. Oh, they landed. Oh, shoot. They're actually going to go. They do have to. If they're anywhere near Dressrosa, it's more dangerous. Usa wants to leave. Dude, the crew would be so split up. Even Law isn't there. Zo Elephant? Is that what Zhao means? Law is what? Oh, did he stay? Oh, he said he's hung up on Del Flamingo. He's gonna stay and dress Rosa. Oh, shoot. Oh, he took Jola. Why? What is he doing? Why doesn't he just take her heart out and then hold that? That'd be so much easier. Del Flamingo's gotta be freaking out a little bit, though. He kind of got outplayed. Now Caesar's gone again. He had him right there. He literally had Caesar back. I'm shocked he's smiling. You know why? Caesar's gone! Take them as hostages. Good luck getting the straw hats as hostages, man. Mm. Dang, Law! Yes, sir! True! Break up my alliance? Why? Huh? Use them to stop the manifest. Yeah, wait, what? Kai will kill you sooner or later. Oh. But why break up the alliance? What? 13 years? What happened 13 years ago, Law? Tell me! I mean, we've known for a bit that they've known each other for a while, but we've never really gotten in-depth about, like, either Doflamingo or Law's pasts. 
But dude, what a couple of bangers. Sanji fighting Doflamingo, not in my bingo book, not in my bingo card, but very welcome. And now we finally, finally have a clear cut explanation of Doflamingo's powers, aside from knowing that he can just like throw wires and cut people with them and tacked on the fact that he can make some of them like, like magma lava. Don't know where that wild card came from, but that he attaches them to clouds. It makes more sense, but that would mean like indoors he doesn't have as big of an advantage right unless he can attach them to like anything big but that's how he's able to sort of like do it on the seas and whatnot it's literally like spider-man games whenever you swing but there's like no buildings around that's <laughs> that's just spider-man man that's still for me go oh my gosh but dude every time law like just gets into action i'm glad that i watched the anime for the very sole reasons i get to hear his voice like yelling shambles yelling room as he saves sanji just oh it's guttural man i love it it goes so hard and you can't get that without the va like law is just growing on me more and more and more and more both for his guts his planning like how cunning he is and i mean just how cool his power is but things are getting spicy bro the straw hat's so insanely split up and they are straight up leaving like they're not gonna be here anymore but guys that has been it for my reaction today i hope you did enjoy make sure you drop a like on this one it does help me out quite a bit and i'll catch you next time peace peace